As we will see in this course, there are different types of cloud computing and it is important for us to be able to recognize them. The first one is called Infrastructure as a Service or IaaS. This is to provide the building blocks for cloud IT. With this IaaS, we're going to provide networking, computers and data storage space in its raw form. And using these building blocks, these building Legos, we're going to be given a very high level of flexibility and we can easily understand how we can migrate from traditional on-premises IT to the cloud. That is the first service we'll see in this course, which is going to be EC2. Then we're going to get platform as a service. In this, we're going to remove the need for your organization to manage the underlying infrastructure. And you can just focus on the deployment and management of your applications. And then one step even further is software as a service or SaaS. This is a completed product that is going to be run and managed by the service provider. So if you want to compare all these things, well, let's take an example. On-premises, you're going to manage everything. So your applications, your data, your runtime, your middleware, the operating system, virtualization, servers, storage, and networking. And that's a lot. With IaaS, so Infrastructure as a Service, we're going to manage the application, the data, the runtime, the middleware, and the OS, but all the virtualization, servers, storage, and networking are going to be managed by others, and in our case, AWS. With Platform as a Service, we manage even less. So everything from the runtime to the networking is managed by AWS, and the only thing we care about when we use a Platform as a Service is our application and our data. And finally, well, if you're using software as a service, everything is going to be managed by AWS. So well, how does it translate? Well, with IaaS, we can use Amazon EC2 on AWS, but we have other services such as Google Cloud, Azure, Rackspace, DigitalOcean, and Linode, which will provide us a cloud computing infrastructure as a service. Platform as a service also exists on AWS with Elastic Beanstalk, and we'll see all these services obviously in this course. And outside of AWS, we have Heroku, Google App Engine, and Windows Azure. For software as a service, we'll also have this on AWS that represents many services of AWS, for example, recognition, when we want to do some machine learning. But we've been using it as well in the real world with Google Apps, such as Gmail, or Dropbox, or Zoom for your meetings. So the clouds have different flavors, but one thing is common is that the pricing is very different from what you know. AWS has three pricing fundamentals, and it will follow the pay-as-you-go pricing model. So for the compute, and that represents various services, we're going to pay for the exact compute time. For the storage, we're going to pay for the exact amount of data stored in the cloud. And for the networking, we're going to only pay when the data leaves the cloud. Any data that goes into the cloud is free. And this solves the expensive issue of traditional IT because now we only pay exactly what we need and so we have huge cost savings ahead of us. So that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll be having a deeper dive on AWS.